Daniel Winans from The Grill on the Alley joining us. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. You know, I, I think there's something that dads do love. I know at least with my husband, I bring home a big thing of meat like that, and he's like, you can see his eyes. Oh, yes. that looks good. Yes, what are you going to make? And the two of us, we're doing the same thing. By 9 yeah. a.m., yeah. we're hungry. We're hung okay, good. Excellent. <laughs> what are we making today? Prime well, rib. We're going to do a prime rib, yeah. So I went by the store this, uh, yesterday and picked up a nice little piece of uh, prime rib. This is like a no-roll uh, ribeye, basically. Okay. And we're going to just sear it off here a little bit. And the reason why you want to sear this off is so that you can seal all the juices in. So we're going to make a little bit of smoke so here. that's like on high, super hot, as hot as you can get it. Exactly. You just yeah, want to sear it. And that way it keeps all the juices inside whenever you're roasting it. Because you're going to roast at really slow temperatures, say 200, 220 for, uh, depending on the size of the meat, okay. several hours. Uh, and I usually just use a, a, a thermometer to get the internal temperature. You want to get it, if you like it medium rare, you want to get it to about 120. Okay. And then take it off and let it rest for, you know, 10 to 15 minutes before you even slice it. Okay. Okay. That's after enough. you've cooked it. And what's in the pan here? Well, I got a little rock salt in here, but, and what we'll do when we finish searing this off is, See, so you can see how the nice uh, sear yeah. is on it. It's just going to keep all the juices in there. Um, and really, it's what, about 30 seconds or so on each side. You yeah, know, exactly. A little, little brown. Yeah, much oh, I'm so glad that. you're teaching us how to do this because we were just talking about this before. It's like one of those recipes that Grandma didn't pass along. It was exactly. Like, I got the meatball recipe, got the lasagna recipe, but the roast I've, I've never actually done on my own. So we'll just sear it off. We're going to set it in a pan. I, I will usually use a roasting rack in here. Okay. okay but I just have the little pan right now. A little for, easier. Yeah. So we'll just say that we're we're almost there. And you want to do the fat side up so then all the juices flow through the meat okay. while, while it's roasting. And you're going to be sticking this in the oven then for... We'll stick it in the oven and stick it in the slow oven. So when we do that, then we go ahead and season it with our, 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 our seasoning that we use. It's a combination of uh, salt, pepper, and uh, garlic. Oh. Okay. Two parts garlic, one part I salt. Use garlic salt. Uh, you could use garlic salt. Okay. You know? I just don't prefer the garlic salt. Why? Then you, I, I like to do that too. It's just so much easier. Yeah. <laughs> well, because then you, then you don't know how much salt garlic you've got and on salt. there. Okay. Because okay. you can overdo it. And then we'll just cover it really good with, with some rock salt. Why the rock salt? Like, why do you it, think it, just Just to uh, keep it nice and juicy oh, and, oh. and and uh, also to, to add some more flavor to it. Cause you, you know, you got a really thick piece of meat here, and you want to get everything down, some salt inside of it. Otherwise, it's just going to be kind of bland, you know, uh, and, and not have a whole lot of flavor. Okay, no. So basically, that's what we'll that do too. with that, too. And then we've got a nice one here all ready to go. Nice. A little okay. bit of pink inside. That looks oh, yeah. great. And you're going to serve this up with Brussels sprouts. And we this, were just... uh, yeah, this is a new dish that we're doing at the restaurant, one of our new sides. We've got a Brussels sprout hash right here. Brussels sprouts are hot right now. They it's are hot. It's like the, the happening food. It's so yeah, got, it was like first there was kale. Or you know what I mean? It's like the new green that's everywhere. It's yeah. delicious. So we got in there some carrots, some uh, onions, a little bit of bacon, some pecans. And just some quartered uh, or half to Brussels sprouts with a little olive oil, salt and pepper. Pretty easy little recipe. Grill on the alley in the Galleria Dallas. Right. Uh, and if you don't want to you know, do this at your home, you can always come see us for Father's Day. We're doing a nice prime rib special. Oh, well, that Perfect. would work too. <laughs> That's a lot easier. No <laughs> cleanup. Linens, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Recipe so on our website, myfoxdfw.com, if you want to check it out. We'll be right back.